Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, I'm very lucky to be able to get hold of these um, blue barrels and uh, one of my or one or two of my viewers have asked me for uh, an in-depth look at how uh, I cut these. Um, some simple tools, uh, a jigsaw to uh, cut the barrel. Uh, you can use a saw. I'll show you what I use the saw for now and uh, the uh, cone drill bit. Uh, basically, if you're just going to use these barrels as water containers and you're not joining them up, then I normally drill holes in each side. So any water that falls on the top actually goes in the barrel uh, because some of these barrels have got little holes in which allow the water to escape outside. We want the water to go uh, inside. Uh, in the past, I've took the stoppers out to create the uh, siphoning system but um, I found a, a, an easier way so we've do, we put the two holes in the top before we've actually cut it uh, that's where the cordrip drill bit will go in now if you take a look you can see that uh, where's my finger there we go that bit is nice and straight then you've got to estimate how much of this material will take off so this will slide into there not a tight fit but a nice fit uh, some barrels are different some are tighter so you need to go down further yes you lose more literage but i lose about 100 liter uh, 100 liter 10 liters by dropping this down so these these become um 200 200 liter uh, containers so we drill that hole in there and then we whiz round. Uh, I'm not going to bore you, I want it to be a, a reasonably short video. So we've taken out that thin strip. That can then uh, be discarded. I now use the actual wood saw to cut into there and then dive into that bit there and then that just pops out where before I used to unscrew that. Use the jigsaw which is very difficult because of the the depth the wood saw does a, a lot better job and by taking out that thin strip now let's take that away this comes in and out nice and easy which means that we're reducing the amount of light so basically two-thirds of your water barrels should be covered to stop it from going green this eliminates that completely as long as you don't contaminate the water uh, you'll be absolutely fine and uh, i'll just put them together so you can see how much loss we actually get of uh, the water storage area which is probably very little but we achieve something that we can use uh, home garden or wherever different barrels uh, are different some have got the lips top and bottom but I'm lucky enough to have access to these or limited access now but I've probably had over 60 or 70 of these barrels in my time using them for different things but at the end of the day uh, most of them have been used for water barrels I've tried using them for raised uh, beds but they tend to warp so that's why you need to make sure this is a reasonably uh, good fit uh, because if you drill too many holes in these the tops will warp as well uh, i hope you found that uh, useful a nice quick uh, video just on how i cut the barrels happy gardening to you all till next time my friends Draw for now.